another thing with this new channel is it's it's the thought of doing it, it kind of it scared me a little bit like the challenge and then also the thought of doing it and failing to be honest scared me a little bit and i thought you know what i don't want to be afraid of failure you know what you know what i mean like i'm okay with failing i'm okay with trying something saying hey i tried it i gave my all and i failed and so that's another reason i said you know what dude because i'm afraid of the failure i'm gonna tackle it head on and give it a shot Hey, buenos dias, que onda, que paso, amigos of John's Moto Garage. Welcome back to the channel. As you can tell by the title, I'm totally starting from scratch. I'm starting a new channel. And so let's jump into it. I'll talk about why, what the new channel is going to be, what can you expect, and what's going to happen here on John's Moto Garage. So let's hit it. Hold on. And before we jump into it, look at that 115 degrees. Dude, it is so, so hot here in Arizona. But Jackie needs me to run over to Costco and pick up some photos. So we're going to do that real quick. All right, so as many of you guys may know already, I started a second channel called John's Stunt Garage. And I've had recommendations, and I had actually been thinking about it for a while. But I had people recommend, hey, why don't you do a channel that focus, focuses specifically on learning the Dyna wheelies and the, sh the drifting and all that kind of stuff. And... Running a channel is a lot of work, but I have a lot of fun doing it as well. Um, so I was kind of weighing the pros and cons. I didn't want to do something on a second channel that would take away from this primary channel. I didn't want to take all my time, you know, doing a second channel. But ultimately I decided, you know what, I'm going to give it a shot. Especially now that I have the stunt bike, the 636, and I know I'm going to be, you know, doing a lot with that. I thought that might actually be kind of cool to do a separate channel that focuses primarily on the stunt side of things and really I'm documenting from a newbie from a newbie beginner's perspective learning how to do all that stuff because that's what everything I do is is like a new wannabe kind of stumbling through the process and so that's what you can expect over at John's Stunt Garage go check it out link below if you haven't already I appreciate the support all those who have gone over there and subscribed means a lot content on this channel is pretty mixed i have a variety i sometimes ride the supermoto i buy bikes i sell bikes i test ride other motorcycles and i know some people frankly just get sick of the wheelies and all that nonsense and so i get it i totally get it and that's why i'm kind of having my separate channel but as far as John's Moto Garage, really nothing at all should change. I'm still going to do the periodic updates on, you know, how my progress is going with the Harley and with the Kawasaki and all that good stuff. So you really shouldn't expect any changes at all on this primary channel. As far as that, like, primary content goes, I do want to start doing more test rides again. I would love to get in with the dealership and bring you guys demo rides of newer motorcycles that I wouldn't otherwise have in the garage. I know I've been saying that for a while, but that is still on my to-do list. I'd love to be able to go out and test ride some of the brand new, you know, 2021 motorcycles or whatever. So I hope to do that as well. I will continue to do the buying and selling bikes. So for those who enjoy kind of the business side of things, the buying and selling and the different motorcycles, we'll keep that up also. Let me know below what you guys think. Good idea, bad idea. Hopefully this can be the world's fastest Costco session ever. On this new channel, I'm also going to use it as a platform to share some of the content that doesn't necessarily fit into like the John's Moto Garage, you know, typical stuff. I know I have a wide variety, but there's certain things that just don't really uh, make it onto my channel for one reason or another. And so hopefully on this new channel, I'll be able to share some of that stuff as well. Can we find a motorcycle parking around here at Costco? They thought to do it. Was that guy gonna park there? We'll move over, we'll let that guy go. He's got a car, he needs more shade. 
quick. I'll be in and out, dog. In and out like nobody's business. Thanks. I'm here to pick up photos for Jacqueline. How's your guys' day going so far? What day is it anyway? Friday? It is Friday. Oh, yeah. Friday is always my Monday. So you do the weekend shift? Oh, these look nice. Beautiful. I'll take it. Thank you. Have a good one, man. Thanks. I think that is officially my fastest trip to Costco in and out. That's record timing right there. Motorcycle still standing up on two wheels. Did I tell you guys about the time that I parked at a Safeway with my bro? We were checking out and some dude came up to us, saw that we were holding our helmets. He's like, hey, is that your bike out there, man? I was like, yeah, the red one. It was a red uh, Ninja 6 ZX6R. He's like, hey man, some dude just hit your bike and took off. I was like, oh, dude. So I ran out there. Of course, the dude's gone by then. My bike's laying on the ground. At that time, I had never really dropped a motorcycle aside from my first bike ever. So I was freaking devastated, dude. I was like, no! Of course, nothing was really wrong with the bike. Just a little, little, few little scuffs, you know? The dude took off. Safeway didn't want to like work with me and give me the security footage. By then, I was just like, whatever, dude. Whatever, bro. I'm over, man. And I learned at that point to be more uh, careful with when and where I park my motorcycle in parking lots. And anyway, I gotta say a huge thank you to everybody. I really appreciate the support, man. I, a lot of you guys support Jackie's Moto Garage. You know, you've been supporting John's Moto Garage. And so it does mean a lot. But I understand time is valuable and subscriptions are valuable. So I don't expect any like hand me outs, if you will. You know what I mean? The invitation always uh, has been and will be if you dig it like and subscribe thank you guys all for the support hope you're doing well hope you're staying a little bit cooler than we are here in arizona because man this 115 degree heat just feels absolutely beautiful on my skin and i got some videos of the uh, v max coming out and a few more videos of the yamaha warrior coming out even though i sold it i got some videos done before selling it so stay tuned for all that and more on john's moto garage we'll catch you guys next time adios Nos vemos. Chao.